we got some huge news for season three of MLB The Show 24. Let's talk about how you guys can prepare for season three and some of the new things or changes coming to season three. So the XP reward path will bosses will be earlier than, than ever before in two six week XP reward paths. So we'll have two different XP reward paths. The first XP reward path would include 299 overall bosses, while the second XP reward path will have three more bosses. And if you complete your head start goals now, you'll have 60,000 XP on day one. Don't worry, we'll talk about the head start goals that you must complete before season three on August 29th. You'll also earn three wild card slots in the season three collection. Plus, you can bring core Ernie Banks. So Ernie Banks, part of the Team Affinity Collection. He is a core card, so you will be able to use him day one of season three. And also a huge change, Team Affinity in chapter one will start at 95 overalls. It will not be back to 89s or even 93s. Chapter one will start at 95 overall players. Now, let's talk about the rest. Season three, obviously, August 29th. We can earn XP reward passes. We talk about that stuff already. Higher overalls at launch and accelerated power curve. Season three will start with 95 overalls and ranked World Series rewards will be 97 overalls for day one. As they move throughout season three, the power curve will progress faster as well with 99 overalls coming along as we get into the exciting MLB postseason. So they're saying that we'll have 99s before the postseason starts. There'll be two XP reward paths and some player rewards for part one. You'll get a 95 overall at 20,000 XP, a 97 overall at 90,000 XP, the first 99 boss at 160,000 XP, and the second 99 overall boss at 350,000 XP. Keep in mind though, 3.1 XP reward path will expire in six weeks for the new 3.2 XP reward path that will come loaded with three new 99 overall bosses in a similar structure as 3.1. Gameplay XP cap changes and double XP weekend. The launch of season three is gonna be to get on the fast track. They'll be launching with double XP weekend over the Labor Day holiday, also my birthday, just saying starting in season three and throughout the rest of MLB The Show 24, the cap on daily XP will be doubled from 15,000 to 30,000 for the daily XP cap. Everyone, a round of applause, a round of applause. Hopefully this is not a thing or at least the cap is a lot higher in MLB The Show 25. So what can we do to prepare for season three? Well, make sure that you guys collect the 35 action figure players. So you guys can get that 99 overall Ernie Banks that you can earn, basically use day one because he is gonna be a core card. On top of that, here are your head start missions for season three. If you complete all these, you get 60,000 XP right away. You gotta complete the Hall of Fame Adrian Beltre program, complete the Moments of Glory program, Unlocking All-Star Game Paul Skeens through the 2024 All-Star Week Collection. Unlocking Season Awards Lightning Britton Doyle through the Season Awards Program Collection. And unlocking Action Figure Max Serzer by completing 20 Action Figure players on your way to the Core Elite Ernie Banks. If you complete all those, you'll get 60,000 XP on day one of season three. And with the new shortened XP reward path, you will start only 100,000 XP away from your first 99 overall boss. Now, Team Affinity returns with a new card series. Look out for fan favorite legends such as Randy Johnson and Mariano Rivera, as well as a mix of current players among the 30s club. So we're getting, it looks like we're getting a, 30, a 30s club uh, series, but this card art looks pretty good. We only see the top half. We can't see all of it. So don't know what, exactly what all of it looks like, but that Randy Johnson, that card art looks 
Fantastic. Looks like we're going to get a 95 overall Randy Johnson and Team Affinity. There's one more change coming. Missions in Season 3 Team Affinity programs will not have in-season requirements. Mix and match in-season and out-of-season theme teams to earn Team Affinity progress. And then read it. it says read ahead to find out what Diamond Dynasty modes will have in-season and out-of-season flexibility. And it looks like instead of three chapters, there's only going to be two Team Affinity chapters released this season. And then season four will still feature an all new Team Affinity chapter. So this is how you guys unlock your wild card slots throughout the season. Collect one season three player, gets your first wild card slot. Collect 15 season three players and you get your second wild card slot and collect 50 season three players and you get your third wild card slot. So ranked solo will be core cards in season three and wild cards, obviously. Ranked co-op will be all seasons, all cards. Battle Royale, all seasons, all cards. Events, all season, all cards. But it does say it may have some season Pacific cards. Conquest is gonna be all seasons, but it could have some Pacific criteria. Same with mini seasons. Play versus CPU, all cards, and casual head-to-head, -head, all cards. And all your Season 1, Season 2 player items will remain in your inventory, and you will not lose any items as the new season begins. Season 4 will be the final season of MLB The Show 24, and will have no restrictions. This means you'll be able to use any cards from any season at any time once Season 3 is over in late November. So once Season 4 comes out, Every card is eligible in the game. Throughout September, several programs will be dropping with a new exciting content in Diamond Dynasty, including the celebration of Roberto Clemente. And also, it looks like the Extreme Conquest is back. So if you guys are ready for the Extreme Conquest tutorial, it looks like it's going to be back in Season 3. And I cannot wait. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like, follow, share, favorite this video, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.